Three years ago, the Ice Bucket Challenge, which was a fun way to raise money for ALS research, took the world by storm. Well, the new book, The Ice Bucket Challenge, gives us the inspirational story behind that phenomenon. And Kate Snow is back with more on this. Yeah, hey, I love this story, guys. More than 17 million people participated in the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge back in 2014. You remember celebrities, world leaders, my family, you guys out on the plaza. But how does a moment of giving become a viral sensation? It takes a bucket, a bag of ice, and a family's love for one courageous man. We've been nominated to do the ALS Ice Bucket. Ice Bucket. Ice Bucket. Challenge. Three, two, one. This is what you know. What you don't know is the man who started it all. Strong, agile, for Pete Frady's sports came naturally. Oh, sweet. He played hockey, football, and baseball, becoming team captain at Boston College. That's a grand slam home run for Peter Frady's. But then at 27 years old, something felt wrong. I started feeling some twitching up in uh, my upper arms. OK, I'll drink an extra Gatorade, eat an extra banana, and I'll be OK. In March of 2012, a doctor delivered the terrible diagnosis to Pete and his parents, John and Nancy. It was a very short diagnosis. It was two to five years to live, 100% fatal, no treatment, no cure. That night, Pete called an emergency family meeting. Nancy, he starts talking to all of you. Oh, yeah. What and did he say? There will be no wallowing. We're going to get to work. He said, I'm going to get this disease in front of philanthropists such as Bill Gates. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Pete Frady. I'm 27, and I was recently diagnosed with ALS. Pete built support through a strong social media network. Then, two years after diagnosis, a breakthrough. And John, when he saw somebody dumped an ice bucket over a golfer's head. You have 24 hours to respond, or you're going to donate $100 to the ALS Foundation. He said, this is our vehicle. <laughs> This is John Frady's. Pete told his family and friends to take the challenge and challenge three others. <laughs> Pretty soon, the ice bucket challenge took on a life of its own. This thing catches fire. Yeah, the local TV to the national TV. And then it goes to the entertainment world. And then it went international. And this thing, to this day, is the largest viral sensation in the history of mankind. And the most amazing part? I, I want to accept this challenge. I want to do it better than it's been done. It's the only one that I cried at. When you see Bill Gates, he did it. And um, he's a kid that is very determined and very goal-oriented. And, um, and all those qualities brought this to Bill Gates. And Pete couldn't resist joining in, doing the challenge at his beloved Fenway Park. Over the years, Pete's health had deteriorated. Eight months after diagnosis, he was in a wheelchair, and shortly after he did that challenge, he was on a ventilator. And what's happening to your son right now? Well, he's completely incapacitated. Um, he has the ability to move his eyes a little bit, but it's a special occasion that he can show expression. Pete led us into his bedroom to show the difficult process of just getting him out of bed with the assistance of two full-time aides. Not to mention the Pete fact that using his eyes and a voice automated machine to communicate with the outside world. By his side throughout, his family, including the love of his life, Julie. What's clear from the start, his humor is still going strong. Pete, tell me about meeting Julie. You took a chance and you walked over. Because I am me, a bona fide stud. <laughs> and she is a beautiful babe. Perfect match. After just nine months of dating, Pete told Julie he had ALS. He could have turned around and said, this is a little much. Why didn't you? It, the thought never crossed my mind. I immediately thought we need to get married right away, have children. You know, everything just sped up for me. By their wedding day, Pete had one wish, to walk down the aisle. It was almost nearly impossible at that point for him to walk that far, so it was, it was pretty incredible. Two weeks after you dumped the ice on him. Yeah, we had Lucy. 
<laughs> Lucy is three now and a daddy's girl. I think people see Pete and he's has these machines and they, you know, are a little timid around him and then <laughs> they watch Lucy climb all over him and they're like, oh, well, <laughs> he's not that fragile. He's just a dad. <laughs> he's just a dad. And Pete had this message for his supporters. The thing I always tell people is to Google three little letters, ALS. Learn how much it can devastate the mind, body, and soul. Frankly, it's just awful. But there is hope because of the ice bucket challenge. So I thank you for the continued support. Let's strike out ALS. Sincerely, Uncle Pete. The ice bucket challenge raised $225 million in six weeks and still counting after that they kind of lost track how much, but it's had a real impact, guys, on drugs and research for ALS, and that's what Pete's hoping his legacy is. I don't know if Pete is watching, mm. but he is. If you are, you are a hero. hero. Yeah, absolutely. An absolute absolutely. hero. Mm. That was beautiful. And Julie. Story, Kate. Yeah. yeah. And she says it the never even family. crossed my mind. Yeah. Unbelievable. They're so inspirational to meet. And, and the other thing is I think it's hard to remember that Pete is in there, yeah. right? He's talking to me and tweeting me. It's yeah. just... You're, you, with ALS, you just lose your muscles. Oh, but his heart and his soul mm -hmm. are there so yeah. strongly. It's amazing. Thanks, An incredible Kate. story. Thank you. Kate, thank you Again, very much. Again, the book is The Ice Bucket Challenge. More info, headstoday.com slash shop. We're back in a moment. This is Today on NBC. Hello today fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives.